Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of my giraffe rattle tutorial. I just finished uploading part 2 and while I was doing that, I decided to work on the nose. So that's what we're going to do in um, this tutorial. I'll teach you how to make this. And then I said I didn't want to make um, a part 4, but I will have to do that. But in this video, we're also going to be working on the spots. So in this video, we'll do these two things. And then in part 4, we're going to make the band for our wooden part and then we'll attach everything together. So let's go ahead and get started with the nose. I will actually be showing you how to make the spots first because they are easier. And as you can see here, I do have two different sizes. It's the same method. You can just change up your hook size. In this video, I've been using a 4mm crochet hook, so that's what I'll be using. But the first draft I made, I used a 4.5 or 5mm for the spots, some of the spots. So if you want different sizes, you can change up your hook size. Um, in this video, I will most likely be using the leftovers I had from the other um, draft I made, and then I'll use a couple of these smaller ones. So let's go ahead and start off with our brown. The spots are super simple. We're going to start off with our magic circle. So take your brown yarn, and let's go ahead and create our X, bringing the yarn down and just holding it with my pinky. Now I'm taking my crochet hook, going inside the circle, grabbing that front X, pulling through, I now have a loop on the hook. I'll go back to this yarn and just grab it and pull it through the loop. I let go and show you there's the circle and then I'll tighten it up. Now you're just going to close up the circle a bit and we're going to single crochet six times into the circle. So let's go ahead and take our crochet hook inside the circle, grab the yarn, pull it through. There's my two loops on the hook. I'm yarning over and pulling through both loops and that is a single crochet. So I'll just do that five more times. Um, remember, this is a single crochet of six total. Just did three, four, five, and then once I get to my last one, I like to pull on this yarn to close it up and do my last single crochet. And then I'll just close it a bit more. And there is the circle. So let's take our scissors and cut off this yarn. We're going to be hot gluing this on, so um, you can just pull out your yarn here. And then what we're going to do to close up this um, edge right here, you want to take your crochet hook and you want to go into that stitch, the first stitch we made, so this one, where my crochet hook is pointing. I'm just going to insert my hook through. And I'm going to take that yarn, yarn it over my hook, and just pull it through. Just pull it like that. And then, so you can see um, the, the last stitch we made, you can see um, it kind of looks a little bit off right here. It's not too bad, but if you wanted to, you can just take your crochet hook and insert it into not the full stitch, just go through the middle. So like that. And then you'll take your yarn and bring it back to this side and pull it through. And then you can see we have a nice edge there. So. Um, all you have to do is make a couple more of these. I usually make about four or five. It's always extra that I have left over. But this part right here, we're just going to hot glue it to the back and then we'll cut off the excess later. So just go ahead and make four or five more, however many you want, and then we can get started on the nose. This is my pattern for the nose and I literally just wrote this down while I was watching the Mass Singer when I was uploading part two and that's how it came out. I will be showing you how to do this on the other side of my yarn, but um, Let's go ahead and once again start off with a magic circle. So let's grab our yarn. I'm going a little bit faster because we've done the magic circle so many times now. So let's take our crochet hook, go inside the circle, grab that front piece, pull through, go back to that yarn, and there we have a magic circle. And then we're going to single crochet six times into the circle. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll pull on this yarn, close up that circle, and do our last single crochet, and that is the end of round one. Okay, so I have inserted a stitch marker into that last stitch, and now let's move on to round two. We're going to increase into the first two stitches. So these two here, we're going to add two single crochets into both. Let's go into the first one. That was my first single crochet and my second into that same, if I can get there, there it goes, into that same stitch. 
And then I'll have to do that again to the following stitch. Remember, we're doing an increase. Into the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. Sorry if you hear a lot of background noise. It is now the date time. Well, it's 9 a.m. now, but when I first started, it was around 5 a.m. So anyways, we're just going to repeat those steps one last time, and we're going to do that by increasing into these two stitches here. So let's go ahead and do one and another single crochet into that next stitch, and then repeating that into the following stitch. And then we're going to remove our stitch marker and single crochet into that last stitch. And after we've done that, we should have a count of 10 in total in this round. For round three, we're going to start off with a single crochet into this stitch. And then we're going to increase into the next stitch. Oops. Why can't I go there? Okay, there it goes. One, two, and then into the next stitch, we're going to single crochet. This one here, just do one single crochet. And then into this following stitch, let's do an increase. One, and another single crochet into that stitch. And then into the next one, two, we're going to do one single crochet into each of those. So I'm doing one single crochet here. And then into the next one, I'll do another single crochet. And then after that, we're going to do an increase into the next stitch. So this one here, let's do an increase. One and two. Into the next stitch, let's do one single crochet. And then into the second to last stitch, we're going to do an increase. One and two. And then we're going to remove our stitch marker and do one single crochet. And then after this, you should have 14 stitches in total in round three. In round four, we're going to single crochet into the next one, two, three stitches. Just do one single crochet into each of those. That was my first one. Moving on to the next one. And here's the third one. Then we're going to follow that by an increase right here into this next stitch. One, two single crochets into that same stitch. And then we're going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four stitches. So just do one single crochet into each of those. That was one, two, three, and four. And then into this next stitch, we're going to do an increase. So that means two single crochets into the same stitch. And then into the remaining four stitches, we're going to do... Okay, I went off camera because I realized I made a mistake. So I wrote um, single crochet into the last four, but I recounted and it's actually single crocheting into the next five. So I have five left here. So I'm just going to single crochet into the last five. One, two, three, four, and then... Five. Sorry, so I went off camera again just to make sure everything was right, but it is a single crochet of five into the last, um, well, into the last five uh, stitches. So this is what we have now. And I also went off camera again to mention that I had to count it because it is 16 stitches in that round. This is what happens when it's freehand and you're trying to write things down. But anyways, um, now that you have your nose, we can cut off some excess yarn. We're going to sew this on later, but I'm just going to remove the yarn like that. And now you should have all of the giraffe spots and then your nose. And you can also um, cut out the eyes. So I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you're going to need some felt. So all you have to do is cut out some circles. I already did that. 
um, a while ago, so you can cut out your circles, make them how big or small you want. You could use safety eyes. The only reason I don't use them for this is because when I was making it for my friend, she has a dog that always rips out the safety eyes, so um, it's not really safe for the dog, so I just wanted to do felt for it, and I feel like it does look pretty good. So um, if you wanted to opt out for, you know, safety eyes, you can go ahead and do that, but because we already created, you know, the head, you would have to, like, put glue in the middle and then stick the safety eyes in that way, so um, it's just based off of preference, but I think that uh, felt felt eyes look fine. So just go ahead and create your felt eyes and then we're going to attach everything later. I know it looks kind of funky right now but um, go ahead and create all of those. In part three we're going to be working on the this part of the rattle and then attaching everything together. So I'll see you guys in part three.